Steiner as she is in pursuit of finally capturing an SEC outdoor title. She said although she was the top qualifying time in the preliminary heats, she didn't feel great. She had to sit around because of that rain delay. It really cooled off a lot. You had all that time waiting, so she was looking forward to much better conditions today. She said she was going to build her way, her day in coming off of that relay. She just had to focus on taking it one day at a time. Jada Baylark, the veteran for the Arkansas Razorbacks, she is a big part of their team title hopes, doubling in the 100 and 200, as is Abby Stein also favor Ophelia of LSU, who is next to Abby Steiner. Those two are separated by just one hundredth of a second in their best times so far this season. 10.92 for, Ste for Steiner, 10.93 for favor Ophelia. And Jada Baylark ran a very fast 10.83 with wind at Texas Relays. Conspicuous in the absence lane one, Grace Stark. She went down hard in the hurdles, did not return for the hundred. Terrible start for Abby Steiner. She got behind. It is Jada Baylark who is out there and also Favor Ophelia. And it is going to be Favor Ophelia over Steiner at the finish line. So they went head to head on the second leg of the four by one relay. Pretty even there. And they will see each other in the 200. 10.93 into a 0.7 meter per second win. So that, if you give them a, the allowable win, that is really a fast time. So Ophelia, already the collegiate record holder in the 200, drops a phenomenal 10.93, just a hundredth of a second off the collegiate lead into almost a two mile per hour win. And consider the fact she did not get onto the LSU campus until January of 2021. Dennis Shaver said that she's really been working on her start. She has fantastic top end speed, but there were better starters in the field. She got a decent start there out of the blocks. Looks like Baylark really got off to the best start of the field. But look at how Ophely just builds as that race goes on, builds her speed, fending off that late push by Abby Steiner. Abby Steiner has that great 200 meter speed as well. Dennis Shaver discovered Favor Ophelia when she was representing Nigeria at the 2019 World Championships. She was just 16 years old, the youngest athlete to be competing. He, trans he decided to move her from a 400 runner to a 100-200 runner. Pretty successful so far. Ophelia wins it over Steiner, and she is with John. All right, I'm going to give you 10.93 seconds to describe this race, and then we'll let you go get ready for the 200. Okay. Um, when it comes to this... 300 meters, I would say it's a miracle race because um, firstly, I want to say, God, thank you so much because I won't be able to do this without God and um, my trainers for keeping me good and my coach telling me just go, just go do it and just execute, go out with them and leave the rest with God. So I owe everything to God. Four by one a win, 100 win, 200. Uh, for 200, I will also say I leave it to God because he knows the beginning from the ending and the ending from, from the beginning. So I want to say all glory and all honor to God. All right, we'll leave it to the good Lord and let her go get ready, Dwight. <laughs> Thank you. All right, John. A great performance considering it was into a headwind. What is she got in, in store for us in the 200? We'll know a little bit later today. The men are next. <laughs> 